Ah, Alexis Wilson. Now this guy brings back memories of the 2016 Deluxe line. And man, do I wish we still had Deluxes to this day, but that's a different quarrel. Naturally though, Alexis was a 2016 Deluxe. He was essentially the last one tied with Craig Facer. They were both in the final case, but that was not supposed to be the final case. If you guys remember, that was the year we were supposed to get Mater with Cone Teeth and Outback Miles Axrod. One of them I think was going to be a super chase, maybe even both, because there wasn't really a series for them to fit into, especially Outback Miles. I think maybe Mater with Cone Teeth would have fit into the Radiator Spring series, but Outback Miles would have been a super chase. I think that's how it would have gone. So yeah, it's kind of wild to think that Deluxes have been in peril dating all the way back to 2016 and of course they've gotten worse and worse to the point where here we are in 2023 and we don't even have them at all but welcome back to prototype prestige this is episode 12 and we have alexis wilson here with us today who really doesn't deserve to be a deluxe all that much i mean let's take a look here at river scott and they're pretty similar in size i mean obviously alexis is bigger but not all that much wider. I think River, oh, maybe they're about the same in length. And decent amount taller, but I'm telling you, Alexis could have easily fit into a single package. But they made him a deluxe. And that's okay because he is such a cool release. Honestly, one of the best of the last eight years or so. I'd probably rank him in the top 50. And, you know, they release hundreds, so that's really good. Probably even higher than that if I were to get down to it. So, yeah, I have this really cool prototype of him that we're going to take a look at today. Now, as I mentioned before, if you have any ideas for prototype prestige, please comment them in the comments below. You guys know what I have from hauls in my collection videos, so just shout one out. And also, let me shout out get me collectibles if you guys need anything need any cars that is i don't know about you know emotional help or <laughs> tissues or whatnot but cars he's got on his ebay store also i left his email in the description below that's a rare find you know definitely take advantage of that send them an inquiry about something if you don't see it on his ebay store please don't bother him though because then he'd probably get mad at me all right we're gonna dive right on in with prototype prestige episode 12. This guy obviously appears in the prison market scene, but that is not what we're here to talk about. We're here to simply compare the prototype to the actual release and see what is different and also talk about where this guy came from because you guys are always so interested in where you yourself can get a prototype. Drum roll, drum roll. Where did I get this one? eBay, guys, eBay, the public platform available in many countries known as eBay. You all have access to it. Now, some people are like, eBay is shady. And I always say it's more dangerous to sell on eBay than it is to buy. I am always so nervous when I go and sell something. And you guys are like, wait, you sell cars? Very rarely. I don't usually. I sell other stuff. And when I do, I get nervous that like, oh my gosh, like if I accidentally mispackage it or it could get lost or the buyer could get upset for whatever reason they contrive in their brain and then i lose out on the money because ebay favors the buyer so what i'm trying to say ebay is safe you should get on ebay if you want your chance at prototypes and canceled cars because that is where i have gone the majority of mine you know whether it be simply finding a seller and then message them and be like hey you got any more and then you establish a relationship it's all about those connections networking if you're young, you're going to hear that term a lot more as you advance. But yeah, this guy has no decals, no paint that is accurate whatsoever. He is a pretty bare bones level one prototype down to even the bumper here and the base, which is a lime yellow slash green. Really cool, honestly, to see such kind of like a rustic character in these wild colors. The tires do have treads and all that stuff, but they are not painted brown. The side view mirrors and everything are this like orange color, which is also repeated back here with almost all, yeah, all of his accessories, quote unquote, all of his products, all of his tires, I guess you could say. Yeah, he pretty much just sells tires and hubcaps. 
So yeah, the grill's not painted. Still has the smile though. He's sleeping, just say that. Everybody makes that joke with a prototype. Oh, it's just sleeping McQueen. Oh, it's just sleeping Mater. <laughs> That's like the classic Cars dad joke. Like if there's a dad joke within like the Cars community, that would be it. Calling a prototype a sleeping version. Ha ha ha. So yeah, the door handle's not painted silver. The window is not painted. I've always liked this guy because you could just kind of like really explore what he's got going on in his bed back here. All sorts of random junk tires. And I say junk because they're all rusted as you can see on the inside there. Wheels, hubcaps, really cool release. That's why I love them so much. Tail lights are painted on the actual version. He's got a spare tire himself. There's like even a little crate down there. It's like, how do these stacks not like fall, right? When he's driving, because they are stacked high and there's like nothing in between them. The closest thing to its actual color is this. Isn't that wild? The crate. Yeah, really cool. All the tires on the side there. Hubcaps are not painted silver. On this side, he just has hubcaps, which they're even a little rusty. My tire is a little dusty there. He's got a little bit of the grass on him from my table here. So yeah, those are your main differences. And I say main as if there's really nothing similar between them. Unlike the Ronda prototype that we take, uh, took a look at last time, this guy certainly is more bare bones than that not as far along in the production process as that Ronda. But still just as fun, if not even more fun. The reason why I like Ronda so much is because Ronda herself is a very rare release. Alexis is not. But taking that away and just looking at them in a vacuum, Alexis is better. More colors, less you know, advanced in the production cycle. Some people like the ones that are like almost completed, like a couple steps away. I don't. I like it, you know, go farther back because that's more foreign. That is deeper into the factory than, you know, something that's almost complete. Like I want it to be as different from the, you know, $3 car, which is certainly not $3 anymore. The $5 car you can get in stores on a random Tuesday, right? That's what makes these special to me. And yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. For this prototype prestige episode of Alexis Wilson, sexy Alexis, as I like to call him. Very cool, big fan of this one. Yeah, I actually have a couple more. I have three, in fact, because there were a lot of them available on eBay and they were cheap. So, again, all in favor of hunting on eBay. You save gas, you save time, you save stress. And yeah. More variety too, right? So thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you soon for another video. Bye now. <laughs>